Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is Amantazah from the Chicago camp coming back at you again with another lesson entitled, According to Thine Anger. So if you look at the thumbnail, you see Esau Edom going nuts. Okay, you see his face turn red. He's going nuts. And this is um, something that, you know, you can witness by just going just going on social media. You know, now that everybody has a camera phone, uh, you've seen a, a million accounts of Esau Edom just fucking losing his brain, losing his mind. Uh, you see him in stressful situation, him and his women. Um, and I mean, they literally when they lose it, they just they lose it and they they they, they become irrational and they do things uh, knowing they're going to get their ass whooped. OK, I didn't seen I didn't seen um, I didn't seen white folks spit on uh, Jake. OK, knowing knowing they they about to get their ass destroyed, right? I seen a white woman uh, spit on the Jake woman, and then she she spit, and then she tried to run. And that, that, that Jake sister dragged the shit out of her. But this doesn't make sense. There's, that, there's a disconnect that happens in their brain when they get angry, okay? And so they become irrational. Uh, just like uh, last year when you saw the uh, that that fight, I think it was in Alabama. I think it was Alabama, right there on the port. Okay, you basically had Esau Edom double team um, a Jake. They just went off, got mad, okay, and started swinging on them. Didn't realize that Jake was gonna come out the woodworks on them. Okay, that was fun to see. But this lesson, uh, according to thine anger, all right? So the Lord is going to destroy Esau, Edom, according to his anger. All right, so let's get into it. This is Psalms 94 and 21. It says, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood, okay? Because they're wicked. Psalms 2 and 1, it says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. All right, and you can uh, find more of this in uh, Psalms, the 83rd chapter, okay? Psalms, the 83rd chapter, you got uh, those nations uh, that are confederate against the Lord, um, chiefly, uh, who was at the head of it was Esau, Edom, okay? All right, Amos 1 and 11, thus said Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because... He did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever. OK, so uh, in, the, in Ezekiel, it talks about the perpetual hatred of Esau Edom. OK, Psalms 137. It says, remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. All right, meaning destruction, okay? O daughter of Babylon, Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us, okay? Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, all right? So Esau, Edom dashed our little ones against the stones. And here we have a scripture that's telling you about Basically, payback. It says, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, right? Which is basically how he rewarded us, okay? 
So payback is coming. Isaiah 14 and 21 says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, the son, the nephew, saith Yahweh. Okay. So the Lord says, prepare slaughter for his children. All right. And for the iniquity of their fathers, they are their fathers. All right. When you talk to Esau, Edom about um, slavery and everything else, he's like, I ain't had nothing to do with that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You are your fathers. OK. And the Lord says, prepare slaughter for his children. OK. Ezekiel, the 35th chapter and the seventh verse. All right. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. In thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. And I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy cities shall not return. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it. Whereas Yahweh was there. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord power, I will even do according to thine anger. Okay. All right. That's what this lesson is all about. The Lord says, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, and that I have heard all the blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel. All right. Um, and that mountains meaning governments. Okay. Against the mountains of Israel saying they are laid desolate. They are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus said the Lord power, when the whole world rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou did rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumea even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Okay, so Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. All right, so the Lord says he's going to make the Edomites desolate. Okay, Jeremiah 50 and 33, it says, Thus said Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. All right. So the children of Israel and the children of Judah being oppressed together, which you see right here in Ezekiel 35 and 10, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it. Whereas Yahweh was there. All right. That's here in America. Okay. That's here in America, the so-called Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom. Obadiah 1 and 10, okay, and, uh, and jump into 18. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Yahweh have spoken it. Okay. Yahweh has spoken it. All right. Psalms 21 and 8. Okay. So we call that the barbecue. Okay. Obadiah, Obadiah 1 and 10. Well, actually, uh, 1 and 18. We call that the, the, uh, the barbecue. Okay. Um, Psalms 21 and 8. It says, thine hand shall find out all thy enemies. <laughs> thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. 
Yahweh shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth. What fruit? Talking about their seed, their children, their offspring. Okay, we saw that earlier. It says, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Okay, all right. And Jeremiah, Jer Jeremiah 31 and 31 talks about as long as the sun and the moon and the stars are doing their jobs. Okay, there will always be the seed of Israel on the earth. So Esau Edom wanted to completely annihilate us and destroy us. And the Lord is going to do according to their anger. And in closing, Malachi uh, 4 and 3, it says, And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said Yahweh of hosts. Woo, Charlie. Let me tell you, Esau done fucked up. You done fucked up, Esau. All right. You done fucked up. All right. And now the Lord is going to deal with you according. He's going to do unto you according to your anger. All right. All right. So I, I pray that this lesson has been edifying until the next one. Shalom.